The Consulting Success Podcast is powered by the Clarity Coaching Program. If you'd like to work directly with the Consulting Success team and receive personal coaching and support to optimize and grow your consulting business, marketing, and revenue, visit consultingsuccess.com to find out more and apply. Welcome to the Consulting Success Podcast. I'm your host, Michael Zapersky. In this podcast, we'll dive deep into the world of elite consultants, where you'll learn the strategies, tactics, and mindset to grow a highly profitable and successful consulting business. Hey, it's Michael Zapersky, and in today's solo cast, that's right, you got just me. I'm going to share with you how to leverage your content to achieve more visibility, build your authority, and generate more leads. Now, some people will simply take their content, their article or a post, and go ahead and kind of publish it or post it to a platform like LinkedIn or publish it to their own website. Now, even if you have many connections on LinkedIn, in all likelihood, very few of those people will see your content when you post it. That's because LinkedIn will only show your content, your posts, whatever you kind of publish on that platform to a very small number, a very low percentage of your overall connections. And it's doing that because it wants to test whether or not your content is actually resonating with the audience before it shows it to more people. So I don't know if anyone really knows outside of LinkedIn what the exact percentages are, but let's just say that only 10, 15, maybe 20% of your connections will actually see your content when you post it. The other 80% or so won't see it unless there's a high level of engagement with your content and then LinkedIn will decide to show it to more people. And when it comes to your website, you know, unless you have a lot of traffic already, a lot of people coming to your website, which most consultants don't, very few people will actually see your content. Now, if it's a very valuable detailed piece, Google may look at that content and decide to, you know, show it in more search results. But typically that can take some time to happen. And depending on what terms you're going after, you may not see much success with that unless you have a good strategy in place. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to share with you seven steps to help you to get more out of your content content. Again, the goal of this is to help you to generate more visibility, build your authority and generate more leads. All right. So number one, first thing is take your content and post it to LinkedIn. Of course, not all consultants will find their ideal clients to be on LinkedIn, but for the vast majority of people, you will find that you have some segment of your audience or ideal clients on LinkedIn. For many, it'll be actually quite active. Now, if you're in a different country, for example, in Europe, others might use a bit of a different network, uh, Zing or so forth. But regardless of what you're using, you want to always kind of fish where your ideal clients are, right? Wherever that pond is. So most people will be LinkedIn, go to LinkedIn, right? Uh, Publish your content there as a post, not as an article. This might change because LinkedIn does change its algorithm, but currently publishing as a post will get you significantly greater reach and visibility than publishing as a long form article. So if you have a longer article, break it down, post that onto LinkedIn. Now here's the thing, use hashtags. So for example, when we post, we do uh, hashtag consulting success, maybe consulting whatever it might be. So make it relevant, right? If you're targeting you know, performance reviews or if you're targeting healthcare marketing, make sure that you use the appropriate hashtags because some people will search and on that platform and that'll help your content to be more kind of discoverable. And as well, when people then go into a specific hashtag, they can see all the content that is connected to that hashtag. So if something resonates with them around healthcare marketing and your content is also tagged with that, there's a higher likelihood that they'll also see your content, which then gets you know in front of more people. The other thing that's really important is to use eye-catching images or visuals as much as you can. That's why video actually works really well on LinkedIn. And I would suggest that if you're not already doing some video on LinkedIn, you should try that out. Now, if you don't like the idea of getting in front of a camera, which I know for it's not everybody's cup of tea, then think about creating some great visuals, some animations, uh, do a screen share where maybe you're talking and you can they can see a little bit of you, but like not the whole screen. There's lots of different ways to do things. Even uploading slide decks to LinkedIn, right? Like a PowerPoint slide, keynote slide deck works really well to create more interactivity. And again, it just helps you to stand out. The final note on this is when appropriate, you can tag people and actually tagging people is really good. So let's say you are talking about some great new product launch or a development in your industry, then tagging people that are connected to that industry or that have influenced that decision. Or if you're referencing like a case study or a great job that somebody did, tagging that person or use the at mark and then their name on LinkedIn will help them to get notified that you have published that content. And again, it connects to them. Number two, send a personal and not promotional message to your ideal clients and past as well as current. So 
yeah, ideal clients, past and present clients, and send them a little note that you have posted content on LinkedIn. So the way to do that is simply to grab the link, the URL for that content. If you post something on LinkedIn, the top right, there's usually a three dots or something like that that you can click on. And one of the options there will be to select to actually copy the URL of that post. Take that and now send messages, whether it's on LinkedIn or through email to your ideal clients, to past clients, to present, right? Current clients and say, hey, I just posted this content, this poll, this case study, this whatever it is. And by doing so, what happens is more people will start to see it. And, and here's where the whole kind of network effect takes place is the more people that see your content, right? And the more people that engage in that content by liking it, commenting, sharing, and so forth, then not only do those people help that your content to be seen with your own existing connections, because that's a signal to LinkedIn that is valuable content. But when somebody who is let's say your ideal client or even a current client likes your post or comments on your post. Now, a percentage of their connections will also see that they've now commented or liked on your post, which means that your post now becomes you know, available or visible to people outside of your direct network. And that's the network effect taking place. So the more people that do that, the more steam, it's like a, a snowball, right? It, it, it starts to really pick up uh, momentum and that's what you want. So the more engagement, right, that you can create, the more network effect that you typically will have. Now, keep in mind with this number two is really important that it's not a promotional message. Your content likewise should not be promotional. It should be value that you are delivering to your ideal clients, to the marketplace. And then your message when you're sharing that should also be from a place of service and value. Here we go. Number three, send emails to all people, right? With a link to your content. So, you know, I mentioned you can post or uh, send a message through LinkedIn with your content, but also send emails to people uh, to your content. And it doesn't have to only be LinkedIn content. Uh, if you post something to your blog, right? If Because likely you don't have a lot of traffic coming to your website already by itself organically. Well, a great way to boost that up is to send an email to your ideal clients, past clients, you know, present clients and so forth with the link to either your LinkedIn post or the article on your website, not from a place of promotion, but rather from a place of, Hey, here's a great, you know, a resource on this topic thought you might find it of, of interest so forth. Now let's go to number four. When you post to your own website, I alluded to this earlier, but typically short little posts or posts that aren't very detailed and specific won't do much for you unless you're someone like Seth Godin, where, you know, you have a, already a very large audience and you're, you're, writing is just, you know, mesmerizing and very powerful and compelling and, and just really makes you think. But for most people, you will be much better served by actually creating a, a, a more valuable detailed resource. Uh, and so what I'm talking about here is imagine a 2000, 3000, 4000, even 5000 word article or, you know, piece of content that you create that really gets deep and detailed into a specific subject. So this should not be a post about leadership or a post about design or a post about healthcare. But if you get very, very specific around for example, you know, user-centered design in pharma, in right in the pharmaceutical industry, and you really go deep into that subject with lots of examples and videos and images and you know statistics and steps and points and all that. Well, there's a much better chance that Google will look at that and go, wow, this is this is a really valuable resource. And if you come from it from a place of you want to make this the most valuable resource on the web, then and really try and deliver on that, your likelihood or the chances of being indexed in Google and Google going, yeah, this is really valuable content. Let's move this up to page one. Let's put this front and center goes up. Therefore, you're going to have a lot more organic traffic if you're targeting the right people with that strategy. So that's another great way to get more out of your content and to create great content. Number five, take that original content piece. So let's say that you've written a short article and then record an audio version of it, right? So it could become a podcast. And so you could actually just have a podcast, even where you don't interview people, you can just do solo casts like what I'm doing right now, where you share perspectives, insights, ideas, but you're not coming up like it's not from scratch. You're essentially just taking what you have already created and turning it into audio form. You can also do the exact opposite. If you are better speaking and not necessarily great at writing, you can capture your either video or audio and then have that transcribed and then get it to an editor, writer, so forth to produce it for, to kind of create it for you in written form. So don't try and necessarily compensate for your weaknesses, right? Focus on your strengths. And so this is a, a really you know big opportunity. And so you know the ideas that I'm actually sharing with you right now, these are ideas that I originally shared with our clients and our Clarity Coaching Program and, and the community there on one of our calls. So I'm taking taking some content that I shared already 
with existing clients and thought, you know what, this could actually help others in our community or that, aren't, that aren't necessarily yet clients or in our Clarity program. Uh, but I'd like to record a little audio to introduce you to some of these topics. So I'm doing exactly what I'm suggesting that you do, right? Which is looking for points of leverage in your content creation. Number six, take that article or post and then turn it into a video. So you don't need to have a high production value. You don't need a fancy camera. You simply can do this even with your iPhone or you know a, a cell phone or a webcam. Of course, good quality video is always better, right? Not shouldn't be too pixelated or that sort of thing. But it can simply be you holding up your iPhone or you know whatever your cell phone is and record a video of you talking about a concept. Because if you're like most of the clients that we work with and consultants that we work with, you're very good at what you do, right? Like you have skills, you have expertise, you're very knowledgeable about a topic. And so if somebody starts asking you questions or if you write down some points about a topic that you are actually passionate about or that you just are very knowledgeable about, it shouldn't be hard for you to just talk about it. And if you capture yourself talking about that and then post that or record that video and then post it to your website, post it to LinkedIn, you will start to see the benefits of that. And it's not about a one-time thing like you post one video and all of a sudden magically you start generating you know, a ton of leads and inquiries and clients, but you do that over time, over and over and over again, and it really does start to compound. Now, the other opportunity here for you, number seven, is to take longer form content that you've created. So it could be an article, it could be a full podcast, it could be you know a book that you've written, whatever it is. And so it might be, for example, like a report, right, that you've developed or a white paper. And then what you can do is you can break it down into pieces and each piece, right, each kind of section of that report, let's just say you have six sections, you might be able to create six or maybe 12 different kind of smaller posts that can go onto LinkedIn. And so the value of that is if you post just once a report to LinkedIn, as an example, right, or even take one report and send it out to people through an email, well, you have, that's one opportunity where some people will engage, some people won't, all good. But imagine now actually breaking that down before you give the whole thing away, or even after you've kind of given the whole thing away, and you break it down into little bite-sized chunks, because a lot of people won't, even if they've requested, or even if they've received your full report, not everyone's going to actually go through and consume that whole report. And so if you can break it down and pull out some of the highlights, and let's say there's 12 of them, and you pull them out, and then for the next 12 business days, you know, so almost three weeks, you just are posting on LinkedIn one post a day with one of those little nuggets, right? One of those little pieces that is going to be valuable to your ideal client and really speak to them. Well, now you have 12 opportunities of, you know, to create visibility, 12 opportunities to stay top of mind. And so that's the power of actually leveraging that asset that you already have, right? And breaking it down and, and getting multiple uses from it. So on an upcoming solo cast, I'll talk more about how to actually create content that engages. But today I really want to share with you uh, seven specific actions and steps that you can take to get more out of your content so that you can build your brand, create more visibility, and really start generating more opportunities to have meaningful conversations with your ideal clients. In the meantime, go over to, to YouTube. We've been posting a lot more videos there. And when you go to the Consulting Success channel on YouTube, you can hit the subscribe button. You will then automatically be notified every time that we post a new video. I'm also doing some live streaming kind of Q&As at times. And so you'll, you'll be notified about those as well. Always love to hear from you, to get your questions and to see how we can best support you along your consulting journey. And also welcome you to connect on LinkedIn. Just head over to LinkedIn, type in Michael Zapersky and then send a connection request. The only request I have for you is that when you do that, please put a little note in. I do get a lot of connection requests and the ones that have no customized note, I typically just ignore, but I would like to connect with you. That way you'll be able to kind of see some of the content that we put out or things that I'm, I'm offering to my connections and just let me know, you know, heard me on the podcast or whatever it might be. And that way I'll know where you're coming from and I'll be very happy to accept your connection request. All right. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Thank you for joining us on this episode of the Consulting Success Podcast. For more episodes and to subscribe, rate and leave a review, head on over to iTunes. And if you'd like to develop consistent lead flow and a highly profitable consulting business, Learn more about our coaching programs at consultingsuccess.com.